Hey YouTube, welcome back to another video. I apologize, last week I didn't have a video. Um, I actually did record like a moto vlog, but when I got back home, uh, the video was useless basically. The footage wasn't like corrupted or anything, it's just that my GoPro angle was angled way too far downward. So the whole time you're just staring at the tank or like the dash in the tank of the bike uh, nothing it was just completely useless so which sucked because that was actually a really good video and like a lot of random things happened <laughs> on that uh, on that ride on the Blue Ridge Parkway but in today's video we'll be doing some installs so the other day I got a package from TST Industries got a, a bunch of stuff in here but what we're gonna be doing today is what I got here which is their front turn signals for the NT07 these are smaller and they have like a halo around the actual like signal bulb and whatnot. They do come with a couple O-rings that are uh, used behind the signal shroud between the signal housing and ratchet lock. And then speaking of ratchet locks, we got, we got two in a bag and then a couple extras just in case. And then packaged individually are the actual headlights, or not the headlights, turn signals. In order for these halos to actually work, you need the halo running light module from TSD Industries. So yeah, make sure uh, that you get those with your Mech GTR front signals. Another thing you're gonna need is this harness converter. So you'll be getting some a pair of harness converters. And these right here is what connects to, you just, Put it where you know which uh which color is which and then that's how you connect it and then you'll have an actual plug at the end of it now to plug into your bike your turn signal here it is the housing the wires you're gonna notice a black plug over here and then the three wire colored wires that i mentioned earlier and then with your halo light piece right here all you gotta do for this is just bend the wires through this little canyon chasm thing, like that. By the way, these turn signals are not size specific, so you could put them either way. And then just take one of them, put the wires through this canyon with it. You might have to squeeze the sides a little bit to, I guess, fit, yeah, there you go, to fit it in. Black plug connects over here. Just. Make sure you put it on the right side. That way it clips in. Clips in. There we go. And that's how it's all set up. Now we'll get to connecting these. Now to complete uh, to complete one of these, you just gotta take the harness, the actual turn signal, then you just go blue wire to blue wire, red wire to red wire, and then black wire to brown wire. Pretty self-explanatory. Basically just snaps in and put the rubber part over. There you go. All right, there you go. Covers on them, but uh, per TST Industries uh, recommendation, uh, use electric tape around these, either individually or, or bundle them all together and do electrical tape, just in case to, you know, just to help keep these rubber covers from like slipping off and then, you know, shorting uh, touch, by touching something else. So it's just a little precaution. You don't have to, but they recommend it, which I probably will if I can find some. So now to remove the front turn signals, this mounting plate, this plastic mounting plate, just two bolts right here. You need a five millimeter Allen key. These are thread locked, so I'm gonna need a little bit of, and also just be careful to not strip out the bolts. All right, so that is off, and now this wire is just
you kind of have to fish in there to unplug to uh, unhook this plug but once you finally get it out you can get the whole assembly out you will still need to retain this rubber piece it basically goes on here um it's like a gasket kind of basically just fit that back in so that way yeah nice and flat like one of the new turn signals oh shit Fish that in, push that all the way through. Sit that in right there. Take one of the O-rings that you're that's provided. Kind of fish that all the way through this way. All the way down. Just pretty much becomes like a ceiling gasket type of deal for in here. Push it all the way down. Then you get one of those ratchet connector, ratcheting connector things. I don't know what to really call them, but they will go face like these teeth things will face down. I'm gonna use a tool for this too. You'll hear it ratchet down. Uh, you just pretty much push it in until it doesn't ratchet no more. Then that means it's it's all tight and snug so you can't pull it out much better than these oem ones because these are just pretty much fitted in on that rubber grommet and they they fall out all the time especially if you like accidentally bump into it or something very annoying so before mounting back these back up i'm gonna just plug this in and make to make sure the light works all right so i just plugged it in like the oem one and moment of truth let's see oh you can kind of see it. Let me turn off this light. Yeah, see that? That's the running light. It's like a halo type of thing around, around the body. And then, let's see, when you hit the signal, there we go. Ooh, that's bright. Then turn it back off and it's back to the running light. You might have noticed the color of the running lights. I chose hyper white. I believe that's what it's called. Um, you can choose a lot of different colors off their website. I just went with hyper white because it was simple and I think it goes really well with like the headlight, like the, the marker lights all around the headlight and whatnot. So I think it just matches better and it's simple, you know, nothing too crazy. But yeah, there you go. So now we just gotta remount this. You're gonna have a lot of uh, excess wire after you plug it up and whatnot. So after you mount it, you're gonna have to deal with that somehow. Um, that part's up to you, but what I did was kind of fold up the wire a little bit, put a zip tie around it, and now just tuck it behind this plastic right here. The zip tie will keep it together so that way it's not everywhere. Uh, and at the same time, it should be up here pretty good until I need to take it out for whatever reason and it should just come out easily. So, you know, it's up to you how you wanna do that. So, all you gotta do now at this point is tighten up these mounting bolts and then I will get on to this other side, all right? So let me just go ahead and do that right quick. All right, everyone, there you go. Fairly simple install. Probably took me about 15, 20 minutes to do. Uh, it took me a little longer since I have to, you know, record and all that, but the actual job itself was not hard at all. And it's pretty much the same thing on both sides, really. I like how they look a lot better than the uh, OEM. The OEMs actually weren't too bad, but these are a step up, if, if you ask me. These are surprisingly really bright, too. So, a little aesthetic and functionality mod right there. All right, that'll be it for this install video. Fairly simple one. But tune in next week because I will be uh, installing TST Industries Fender Eliminator Kit. That's when, that one's going to be a little bit more time consuming than this one. Tune in next week for that. But other than that, you know, like the video if you haven't yet. Comment if you want to say anything. Share the video. And uh, please subscribe. Especially if you found this informative and all that. Alright. Other than that, peace out guys and see you next time.